like the After Effects of it. I didn't. I mean, it wasn't bad. It didn't make me feel sick or anything. It just, you didn't seem to be enjoying yourself very much, as well. Right. It, I I didn't like the drug. No, didn't I didn't it. dislike it either. It wasn't bad, but I didn't like it. Yeah, it's just kind of like, like I'm here. The things happening, but I'm here. It's a. It's. Eh, I'm here. So, but. Uh, yeah. It's kind of whatever. Um, how do you think it... So it's something that you have to do... So it's not that you do it and then it cures you of opiate addiction. It's that you keep doing it? Well, it takes about a teaspoon every hour or a little bit more. And takes it instead of taking the opiate and is not experiencing withdrawal symptoms. And, you know, if you abruptly stop taking that shit after taking it for that long, um, normally you get insanely sick. Yeah. And that's the only thing that was keeping her from getting over the hump was the sickness, not the... What about the urge to do it again? What about the love for the feeling? Well, the thing about about quitting it was that it involved a tapering process where she was always a little bit sick. Mm. And it was a prolonged tapering process, you know? Mm. That's pretty daunting. Yeah. Then it gets rid of the sickness. It makes her feel good. It didn't help. Or that wasn't just an that just wasn't an option. What? Leave. I don't know if it's really an option. She's not in a medical state, I don't think. No, she's not. Absolutely not. So, you know, uh, I'm just really... I'm very happy for her, though. So it's, really it's, it's zero now? Yeah, she went 24 hours without any of that stuff and hadn't in ages and um, experienced no withdrawal symptoms. Is and she, is, what's her, what, is is anything different than her mood? Is she just overly, in, like, you know, what's, well, what's that? She, what's, what's, she's in a sort of state of, of semi disbelief, you know, because she's lived with this ongoing threat of getting violently ill if she doesn't have her medication, quote unquote. Wow. Well I'm, that's that's good to hear. Tell her I said I'm happy for her. I will. Now I want to know the mechanism of action real bad. Yeah, I'm curious active, about it. It's active molecules bind to the same neuronal receptors as opioids. Oh. This is this doesn't make sense. Suboxone doesn't make sense to me. What's it's suboxone? Like, huh? What's suboxone? 
What's Suboxone? Yeah. Like, as in, what do you mean, what is it? I mean, what is it? That's what she was taking. No, she's taking methadone. Oh. Oh. Suboxone is uh, a partial opioid and naltrexone, which blocks the... um, the euphoric effects of opioid opiates opioids so it's like it's activating the receptors that that get engaged that cause like withdrawal and stuff but it's blocking the euphoria from those things also and even things like alcohol and stuff i don't know anything about suboxone and she wasn't taking it okay and I'm, I'm, I'm mixed them up. Yeah, I'm methadone for that long. I don't know much about methadone. It's awful. Um, what's your understanding of it? Well, basically, it's a it's an opiate that lasts all day. Is what it's designed to be. So. Whereas if you're an opiate addict, you, you normally have to get a fix of opiates more than once a day. <clears throat> Being on methadone allows you to get a fix of opiates once a day, and you can maintain that program as long legally by going to the methadone clinic. You can, you know, if you were ever originally a uh, IV drug user, then you can get off IV drugs, or if you were somebody who got addicted via pills originally, then um, then you can have something consistent rather than having to rely on trying to find pills and stuff like that. That's so interesting. So yeah, so that's how methadone works. And then gradually, of course, your tolerance to it builds, and so they start her off at whatever, and then gradually over the years, it goes up and up and up and up and up, and so she's taking shit out of methadone every day. It's not supposed to be... I'm amazed that she's able to do that. I mean, it's not supposed to be taken for that long. It's, People do. And they keep raising the dosage, and, and she gets up to ridiculous levels. The kind that if you quit taking it abruptly, under normal circumstances, you could even die. The withdrawal is so severe. But this shit makes it so she cannot take it at all. I'll say what's even worse is that they'll try and stop it, but then be taking, then go back to the doses that they were used to taking, and that's what kills them. Well, hopefully she doesn't do that. No, I, me too. I was <laughs> at the thing. I wouldn't try to even. Uh... I mean, that is the scariest thing about somebody. If, if there is any relapse. Um, they have to go back to the beginning. Yes. It's like, it's like me and the Adderall. I don't start the first day with taking a bunch of pills. That would be foolish. My tolerance isn't that high yet. I think I'm about ready to go to bed now. Maybe the melatonin is starting to kick in. I don't know. It is a good talking, my friend. Okay. Yeah, you don't go to sleep or else it'll just pass and it won't be helpful anymore. And taking more won't do anything either. Okay, well, good night then. Thanks for being here. Thanks for talking with me. Oh, my God, sleep too. <gasps> All right, well, you have a good night. Is Donna on? I'll be on here for a little bit longer. Unfortunately, the is not warm. Mm. 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 Mm
Thank you. 